This is my little bundle of information that I'm giving you. My little bundle to you is fact check. Double check your sources. Make sure they're reliable. And uh, let me know how many gallons of gas I have left if my gas light turns on. Just for future reference. Good morning everybody. I wanted to vlog my morning, but the camera was dead. And I didn't have the charger because I left the charger with my backpack at St. Monica's last night. We went to a concert because Father Jack needed me to get his presentation up. So I left my backpack and my laptop there so I didn't have my stuff. So I couldn't charge the camera last night. Therefore, I did not have the ability to vlog this morning. So I'm sorry, but I'm vlogging now because got my backpack, got the camera charged, and we're ready to go. We're ready to get down to school. Uh, and that's about it. We got the, I was working with Ashley this morning to get the Blaze Radio Teen Talk show ready to go. It airs from two to three on Fridays and it replays 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, on Saturdays. It's our own youth group talk show. Uh, so we were getting that ready editing it, uh, getting it uploaded to the Dropbox so that we can get it onto the air. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's good to have our own, another means of getting news out for like announcements and such, being able to have a platform to talk about whatever teens want to talk about, and uh, on our own radio station for St. Monica, so it is wonderful. But I'm dealing with some traffic, it's not fun living in the city. Well, I don't live in the city, but driving through the city ain't fun. Parked all the way on the top deck today, and that's usually the parking deck that I park in over there, but uh, there were no spots in it this morning. Literally no spots. And it's so weird that just changing parking decks and just coming over to this one rather than that one is weird. Like. I just feel funny doing that. I'm so used to being 20 more feet that way that it's very odd to me. It is the race against my gas light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on. And it just turned on a few minutes ago, so I am like, I'm counting down the miles until I run out of gas. But they say, they say when your gas light turns on, you have like, one to one and a half tanks of gas, or like some people say two. Like I don't know exactly when the gas light turns on. I know that the gas light turning on doesn't mean like, I'm out of gas right now. It means that you have a little bit of time, uh, but I don't really know how much time I do have. You know, like it's hard to quantify that. But I typically go by the standard that like, if I have two gallons, which is what they say, they say like when your gas light turns on, you have two gallons left. I don't know how true that is, but if that is true, then I get about, I have about 60 miles that I can drive before I'm out of gas. But it it all it isn't really reliable since I don't know if my fact of two gallons is correct. That's where my my issue is. So I'm just trying to get to a gas station, but I don't want to like it's hard when you're in traffic and you just don't want to get off the highway because it's just a pain. So I'm getting off the highway trying to find some gas, but. <sighs> gas lights, but they don't make sense. If any of you can make sense of a gas light for me, and don't tell me what Google says because I've looked it up on Google and I don't really trust Google because I don't know if two gallons is true. That's what Google tells me. Maybe Google will tell you something different. Take Google as a reliable source because Google usually knows what it's talking about, but also check your facts because you should check your facts all the time because fact checking is a good thing to do. Always get multiple sources, always have reliable sources. This is my my uh, my treat to you today. This is my little bundle of information that I'm giving you. My little bundle to you is fact check. Double check your sources. Make sure they're reliable and uh, let me know how many gallons of gas I have left if my gas light turns on, just for future reference. Well, I try to go to Kroger to get some gas, not just to go to Kroger, uh, but they have gas lines out the wazoo. And I have a, cause I have a Kroger gift card for gas specifically that I wanna use and I just haven't had a chance to use cause I don't pass Kroger when I need gas very often. 
But look at this, like Kroger is a madhouse and BP is totally empty besides a giant dump truck and some Porsche. Like, I, j I just don't get it. And I know that, B no, BP is the same price as Kroger right now, so I don't know. Like, I can't drive around because I don't know, I don't know how much gas I have. I don't know when I'm gonna run out. I don't wanna run out and then have to push my car an extra five feet. Like, really, that's not a bad place. It's not a bad place to, to not have gas. Is that a gas station? But why would I wait when the gas station literally a few hundred feet away is empty? Why are people waiting? I don't, maybe you would get Kroger reward points, which I understand, but BP's nice. Like, B, BP is still good. It's gas. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I just don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Welcome to St. Monica's. I, at one point, was talking about coming up with like a song and dance for when I show up to St. Monica's, because I show up here so often. Still haven't come up with one, I just sort of just, whatever m melody comes to my mind, I uh, sing that. So today it was just a, a simple, welcome to St. Monica's, just because, just because I was feeling it. I'm uh, making some labels on the good old laptop. This thing is uh, hard to use. Let me show you like the mouse, if we like pay attention to the mouse. I'm like barely moving it and it, uh, it's not doing it now. It like freaks out. I don't, I don't know, I'm a computer guy and this computer freaks me out. So uh, anyway, we have a Nicaragua mission trip meeting tonight. So just prepare for that and getting labels and stuff ready. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about going to Nicaragua on mission this summer, so pray for me, and I'll let you know how you guys can support if I choose to go, for sure, thinking about it. It's never too late for a burger, right? It's like 9 o'clock, but who cares? It's always burger time. Well, I have had a busy evening getting songs. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm leading music for a retreat this weekend uh, with St. Pius. It's a high school... Uh, that Melissa teaches at so they have a retreat this weekend. They needed someone to lead music So yours truly will be doing so so I've been getting music ready Just got to print stuff and stuff like that in the morning then I'm leaving tomorrow morning to go up to Cove Crest uh, Where we had fall retreat we had confirmation retreat there So you guys have seen it before but hope to show you guys some more since I have a lot more downtime I'm just doing music and that's it. Don't have to worry about doing all kinds of stuff like usual, but I am exhausted so choose virtue, choose life, so long for now. Oh!